Hello. Right, today I'm going to show you a couple of things I found on the internet, one of which is really, really useful and a lot of fun to play with. The second one is useless, but still fun to play with. So the first one is a site where you can make loads of different backgrounds. As you can see, I've got one loaded up right now. I made this myself from a channel. The site's called wallpapers.x3studios.com. I'll put a caption in right about now showing you what the name of that site is. So you just type that in the search bar, exactly how it's spelled. And you'll be taken to that page. So we'll just load up my browser and I'll type it in now. Bear in mind, it may or, it may or not, may not happen when I do because I've been on this before. But you'll have two options when you get on. It will ask you whether you want to um, do it in full screen or keep it in this browser. You pick the option that says keep it in this browser because it's just basically a lot easier for you to use the software. See? I reckon kick the right option. So a little film clip will come up here showing you. don't know what it's meant to be for, but I haven't picked it. So you just go to the bottom and there's a little skip intro button down here. Click that and you get taken to the home page. It's got wallpapers that people have made themselves, so you can scroll through them for ideas or solely to download them. But the most interesting part down here where it says create your own wallpaper, give that a little click. And you can start off with any background. Now I'm just going to go for a plain one, but you get plenty of colors. But let's just go for a little weirdly pink one. Now there's a lot of um, information here, but I'll let you look that through at your own pace. So click OK and you're taken to this little menu. And you can, this is basically where you mess around. There's things they call element, elements. You just click them and they'll appear. And you can drag them around. You can rotate them. You can slant them. Everything. You've got a little text bar down here. So you can text, hello, YouTube. And it'll appear. You can change the type of it. You can change the color. It's brilliant. Also, you've got here like hue and saturation. You'll change color, shade, sharpness. It's absolutely wonderful. When you're done, you can save it to the gallery or you can download it. If you download it, you start to put it in the folder and then you can set it to your background from there. Or if you save it to your gallery, you're asked to put your information in and they'll send you an email when it's been uploaded. It's really quite wonderful. So that was wallpapers.x3studios.com. I'll put one in the description, a link to the site. Now, the completely useless thing, but still fun, is something called binary toys. You download this, you just type in www.binarytoys.com. But basically, you get little random shapes. I'll put it on Jumbo so you can see it. And you can change them. So, change to Caterpillar Pod. Strange little wiggly creature. I think the best thing is, though, they move around on your internet browsers. So, let's just... Um, Minimize this and change the size of the browser. And then you can put them on. And they'll just um, basically wriggle around pointlessly. I find this very, very amusing. One of the good ones, a little wiggly worm thing. Or you can have a millipede. I've not actually been through all of these, so this is um, a little learning curve for myself. A little Dirk Jiggler, whatever that is. They just like flop about on your screen. And then you can just drop them around. So um, there you go. That was my useful and useless of the week. I've, I was your audience, your burn vision. Good job.